So first, I want to congratulate Amara Wendell. Thank you very much for beginning the struggle, not completing the struggle. As someone who has been teaching for most of my life, I like to see the product of learning. Because if you teach, when people don't graduate, then you haven't done anything. Today I teach students whose parents are taught. Because at a young age of 26, I was teaching at the University of Liberia in 1982. That's why I taught people that Abraham Kumar, what is he? Well, so much student is here. Uh, Rani Samakai, Justice Kappa, Justice Kabina, Jane, or all my students at the University of Liberia. I taught them economics. So now I'm teaching at the law school and an assistant professor of law. And the students tell me, Prof, you taught my pie in 1983. You taught my pie in 1984. Like that. I was in the United States recently. I was in Philadelphia. And I was being introduced and one elderly man got up much older than me and said, oh, that my teacher, was, you taught me on the university like that, I don't remember anything. You know, in those days we used to have 60, 70, 80 students in the class, in the auditorium. I taught the economic section of social science to so many students. So as I go around, sometimes people say, that's not going where you want to be pregnant, where is your handbag? I said, I'm going to show you my handbag, like Kabina Janet, the Joy Howard, the Justice Kaba, the Ebra. George Wilson Willie, George Koto. Plenty of these people who are serving in the current government today are people who I have to treat. That's a better handbag, right? Yes. Oh. What's the and you, you build one hand pump maybe in two years, about one year, and you just one. You build one, a public toilet, and my guess what? You can build Palama Hall. When you train people, give them knowledge, it stays with them until they die. The only property you cannot will to anyone is knowledge. Stay with you. So nobody should disregard teacher. I want contribution to society is greater than anybody's contribution. Even a doctor can treat you, that's the same again. When you learn, you have learned. So I'm happy to see one of our products here today celebrating. It's an example of what we do in the classroom. And the best tribute, Amara, you can pay to us is this play of integrity. You will not lie, you will not steal. Knowledge can be misused. Today, a lot of people are misusing knowledge. That is why the level of suffering in Liberia has increased. <laughs> All right. Knowledge can be used for good, it can be used for bad. So, speaking to you, the knowledge that you are acquired will be used to transform Liberia into a better society. You must use your knowledge to transform Liberia into a better country. This country, Liberia, is one of the richest countries in the world. Yes. One of the naturally rich countries in the world. But we are poor by choice. Yes. We are poor because we elect people who don't know anything, or if you know something, we know the entire record of stealing and lying. But we stay elect them for better rights, for money, and for liquor. You must not be one of them. You must not lead your people to elect those kinds of people. It is that type of election, that type of decision that makes Liberian people to suffer. 
because this country is so rich, that pump, that pump to no my time, you get drop the seed, you start to bring my son, that pump to me. If you go behind the house, the purple tree, the, 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 the orange tree, the, the plum tree, we see all here. Nobody planted them. They just ate them and dropped them and the grew. That's how rich Nigeria is. The soil is fertile. It rings almost every month of the year. Rich country. In some countries, sometimes one year, two year, three years, go to Mali and put 20,000 and keep going wrong. Rain is celebrated when it rains most of the I was working in Ethiopia in a town called Didi Dawa in 2005. And it started raining and some people are telling me in a, in a rain with a coat suit. It rained just for 10 minutes. I said, you go by all the time and said, sir, we are not mad. It has not rained here for three years. So it rained for us is a shower of blessing. But we take my brother here. That's what I want to tell God has blessed this country. Yeah, my student, they say a liar will is in the family. The liar they will not find a way. Yeah, my student here. I told him that all of them are everyone in the house student. So when they say, comes out from the way I have my hair, yeah, one of my hair, my girl. That my hair mic is. The hair mic does not have to be one, one public toilet or one hair pump. The other hair mic can change. <laughs> okay, you guys, I have to do that forever. So, we will definitely direct our police for operation and get us in. One relationship you can change is that you're a teacher and you always be a student. So, you have to give me respect. <laughs> And you should give me respect. They see what with Justice Janet. I am not saying, I can't stay outside too long, Justice, because I can teach you and say, I'm not going to teach you. You're not going to So, teaching and learning are two things that are very important for any society to develop. If you teach, when we see people like this, they feel happy here. Yeah, you're telling me, thank you, man. You know, from my, the little teaching I gave him, you learn it and accept it. And when you write history, is there any man of police, there'll be the police director before. That pay he gave me right there, because teachers don't take pay. But when your students become big people, they can make you feel good. If I, you can be elevated. You guys like, don't respect you say, oh, you see how vice president of my student opportunity to draw. You see, Justice Kaba, I uh, must do So you get elevated. Then they pay you, the poor show you people to sit and say, then they are taught. And Abraham, I will come back, then I will put them. So, but our education will not be misused. Education is important, but it's also very dangerous. Because people can use it to lie and mislead society. Cause chaos, bring conflict, bring war, set people against each other. Education will be used for good purpose. Selfish people can use education to steal what belongs to everybody just for the few of them to enjoy. That's a misuse of education. And it got to like bring people to extend the, the reach of point and the started to see Christian so whether you know it, but you know, you know, you don't know it, but I can't say that. But I was out of, you know, disgust, out of anger for the way people have misused education. But education is not a bad thing. It's a very important thing, and no society can develop without education. This scripture that God gave us will fret our soil. Under the soil, then God bless us again. You put diamond there. You put gold on there. You put iron ore on there. You put bauxite. You put manganese. All can force Even the sand that we have. The naked people are using it before the world. We had glass water and rain. 
The same rain in Ghana Bay was used to produce glasses. So, my parents are rich people. But we have one poverty. Poverty of leadership. That we choose. Because the leader don't put himself there. We choose. Poverty. Because this country, there are many a lot of good people scared to run for any office. Because when you're running for office, you don't come to all the good things that you tend to do with power, you say, yeah. Uh, and if you say all I want, dry toy street or you know, so <laughs> what will be eating before the job get dry? <laughs> eh? But I got dry toy street, I got a drink for suffering. What do you say? All right, you talk And so, what you say now? Let me tell you, John, this case me. We have to respect education because you see, knowledge is power, and you only get knowledge through learning. When it says strong leader, both in the Quran and the Bible is based on wisdom, and wisdom is gained by learning. So. Today, for those of you who are here, anybody wanting community power, state power, legislative power, just ask them what you want to do with our power for us. Don't ask what you want, what you got for us today. Because sometimes people don't even know the function of the office they're running for. They just know support in PP cars, they can't pay PP housing, they call them honorable, and so they want people honorable too. And so people don't get rich fast, they all have to go here, now they get it, they want to pay thousand, and this and that, so they don't want to be honorable. But when you ask them, sir, oh man, that offer you're looking for them, what the function out of the tell me so I, I can do? They will cash out on you. Plenty of the poor looking for offices, when you ask them, for the function of the office they don't know. They don't know. Then, even though you have it, when you go there, what you do different from the person who's there now? Thank you. That, for me, should be the measurement of choosing the poor company or looking for a job telling you. Because you don't go, then I can't ask the next question what you do in that office. Because you don't go to function in that office. But all I want is going to function in our office. And what you do there, you click education. There's no other way for society to transform and become a better society except through education. That's the number one. So let me continue by telling you people, congratulations, thank the family members who financially supported this young man, those who did not have money for giving moral support by advising him to remain in school. Because sometimes you go and say, my man, this school they know how, why you get money that go faster than job? But I'm sure there are many people here who are saying, don't discourage, continue the journey until you complete. That is a big contribution to I want to tell you thank you. But let's keep guiding you. Because the thing about education is it will help you to be a one person. To respect. So people have education, they think that God has made them to see what he will be. All he will be will be a God will flesh and blood. Go in no super he will be. Go and get five PhDs and get him will be. So you should have to say, oh God, no, 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 you need to be a you need to be a president of power, and you can say that we're poor, you're simple, you come down to, to, to you come down, you, you, you know, home. I said, so when, you guys are human being up there, and they can come down, all you want is that you go. Even the poor got people cars and people up, who think that they are better than their neighbor? So now when God get ready, the whole thing get burned, and then you go see, you see the position, you yourself. So, trip, you get burned. 
and you become refugee in no time. You can be driving a Mercedes Benz and get burned and you'll be riding again. So when something happens, you get educated, or go ahead and you get money, or you get something that puts you short, that does not change your status as human being. You're not super human being. You're just a human being. No other way to call you. So let education not give us big head and make us arrogant. It should make us more humble than we were before. Because right in the this is the way between our peace and on the basis of our peace, my bread can experience progress and prosperity, music, vision, that will not be used to steal, lie, and be arrogant of our people. Thank you very much, Councillor Tewo Gombe. That was the voice of the political leader of the Great People Party, Councillor Tewo Gombe. A pin and a plug for the council. Thank you very much. While the council was implied to witness the arrival of one of the eminent sons and the person of Honorable Abin Koma, come one or two. Hello, Reverend as the person. Also, when there's the rabbis of some members of the bureau business, the chairman for the emancipation, you are highly welcome. From Western Intellectual Forum, Honorable Lassana Kamara, you are highly welcome. And the Borough Home Place, also recognize your presence. Thank you very much. The next until our program is statement from the very basic beginning with Western Intellectual Forum. Representation. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I clear the MC. My name is Asana M. Kumar and I represent the Western Intellectual Forum at Banasville Junction. I uh, clear the result of the Western Intellectual Forum has brought us here today. At the forum, we are the first. We have people of different faiths and we have people of different culture, I uh, believe. Honorable Amora M. Kofana has testified to us that 